In the mid-90s, Ian Crozer recognised an opportunity to integrate multifunction digital beamforming technology into anti-ship missile defence radar systems. It was a concept that other radar development communities thought impossible. But Crozer knew that if he could develop it successfully, the technology would provide world-leading radar capability to the Australian Defence Force. The difficult problem of processing vast amounts of data in parallel at a rate sufficient to incorporate real-time digital beamforming had not been solved. Crozer developed early concepts and performed preliminary experiments and modelling to rationalise the engineering approach before assembling a small team to assist with the project. Defence have always been a, a great supporter of CEA but I, I think that it's fair to say that they thought it would be very challenging for us to do it. From that time, nearly 15 years of dedicated research, innovation and engineering has led to the development of the CFAR, the world's first element-level digital active phased array radar and the first of its kind in Defence Force service anywhere on the globe. This leading edge system is configurable to meet operational, physical and cost constraints for specific applications across military and civil usage and its radar on a face architecture is both simple and elegant. By adopting Crozer's alternative architectural approach, which uses advanced processing devices and innovative signal processing techniques, the CFAR's compact design allows it to be installed in ships far smaller than previously possible. This offers space and weight saving advantages, reduces cost and improves overall system performance. We have a reliance on this system. What we found with the system at sea is that its reliability is exceptional. Um, it's certainly man it's actually better than what we anticipated it to be. And you know, from a technology basis, it's not often that, that, that Australian Navy has been dealing with purely Australian production hardware. Crozer's extraordinary efforts were pivotal in developing and commercialising digital PAR technology for a global market. He has maintained a balance between business development and financial performance for CEA Technologies, which is now internationally recognised as a world-leading radar and communications supplier, with their systems used in the United States, the United Arab Emirates, Trinidad and Tobago, Bahrain and New Zealand. Because we do cutting-edge design, young and bright engineers want to come and work here. In an industry previously dominated by overseas suppliers, Crozer's innovations, including the CFAR Active Phased Array Radar, the C-Mount Active Phased Array Illuminator, and Solid State Continuous Wave Illuminator Transmitter, another world first, have filtered hundreds of millions of dollars into the Australian economy. Furthermore, the Australian Government has highlighted their preference to use CEA's PAR radars in major future Royal Australian Navy acquisitions. It's all come out exactly the way it was planned. And I put it down to Ian's persistence. I put it down to his also innovative thinking. Crozer's vision, leadership and intellect have secured international recognition for Australian engineers in the area of radar innovation, technology and engineering. In 2012, the brilliance of his CFAR design was acknowledged with state and national engineering excellence awards from Engineering Australia. And he is now considered a leading world expert in phased array radar design. We have now got our second ship in, HMAS Arunta, and the rest of the six ships, there are eight ships in total, will be completed by 2017. We, with the Australian Government approving, moving forward on other programs associated with taking this technology and moving it to the next generation. Led by Crozer, the outstanding technological development by CEA Technologies positions the CFAR project as a benchmark of Australian innovation.